This is the lithium ion batteries from the 2009 earlier Zero X motorcycle. And I thought someone would be really curious, like I was. Uh, the battery packs are a set of these Canadian Molai long C lithium ions. Lots of current source on them with a metal case. And the battery itself is well unusual. They use essentially gum bands to strap the uh, bus wires to the contacts on the end of two cells in each pack. And a conductive grease and a uh, pressure of the, the uh, shrink case. So they're really difficult to uh, deassemble and repair. They're really made as a one-shot. So the cases had a huge amount of hot glue that was run around both ends of it and uh, sealed up. So it was, a, it was a real task to try to break into them and repair them. Uh, redoing the whole battery is uh, almost out of the question, but I've gone through the trouble of that having picked up some new Moli cells. The worst part about it is uh, this little thing right here. As you can see, it is pretty much what you would not want to deal with, even as an electronics technician. It's a BMS. The board plugs in here, and these all finger out across uh, seven banks of uh, batteries, about 168 batteries. And that the problem with the BMS in the earlier, uh, before 2010 models, was if you didn't charge it regularly, it would actually drain half the batteries and kill them in order to keep the other half alive. So that doesn't make any sense at all, but uh, the newer systems are better on the Zeros. Their batteries are much bigger capacity. So I'm reassembling several of these to go into a battery. Again, about 168 cells. You have bus wires like this, which connect together on the ends with the uh, copper buses. Copper bus carries a high current and then you have a small cable that goes through one center post of the battery so you actually have a uh, another contact point for the BMS system to do its measurements these were supposedly troublesome I didn't really find any loose connections but I think the biggest problem is people don't plug their batteries in every week like you have to and you end up with a half dead battery just trying to salvage the cells can take an incredible amount of time. I pulled and tested two batteries worth and I got maybe 40% that were still good. You have to have a sophisticated battery tester in order to even consider that a Vencon or Kdex hooked up to a computer. So I wouldn't recommend any of this, but to someone they might be curious and want to know. Thanks. Of course, when you're done building up a battery pack, the fun just begins. Then you get to put it on the bike, charge it up, and go for a ride. And if that doesn't thrill you enough, you might try a Burrell Racing Go-Kart with the zero components in the driveline instead of a gas engine. And instead of spending $15, $20 per gallon for racing gas, you can just plug it in and ride for 30 cents a charge.